Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to FIO, the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day. Here it is, Thursday, August 8th. I saw this last night, and actually anyone who attended the webinar last evening with Online Trader Central, I told them that this was a great gap. So anyone that was there last night, hopefully you did this play today. It was amazing. I had not rated it before the webinar, I didn't have time, uh, but I know enough about my system to be able to see immediately when something's amazing. And look, this thing is still dropping here. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Where was that low? 27. So I did this this morning. It was a great play this morning. Had a very clean exit on it too. Very proud of myself with the exit and just was an amazing gap. So, you know, I wish I had a perfect, perfect, perfect gap every single day of my life. <laughs> but I'm certainly glad that I get them at least um, enough to keep me fat and happy. And today is one of them. Just beautiful entries and just 100% conviction. 100% conviction in the setup today. 100% conviction in the gap. Really, really nice. So I'm going to take it easy tomorrow because uh, today was such a nice day. And whenever you basically have your weekend before the end of the calendar week, you have to, you know, money manage yourself. This is what it's all about. And this could have been done in the afternoon. This even could have been done in the afternoon. Here's a drop off in this this morning. I was in this in a great play in here this morning at 11.85. Dropped down in here and I actually got out here. So I did not get the last 15 cents of this and it could have gone to $11. I was thinking it was going to reset up in here. You know what? It never did. <laughs> it never reset up in here and then just kept dropping. So I got out right here. Beautiful exit here. Then this happened and there was no way to re-enter it. So did not get to the whole number of $11. This will. I mean, this could hear yet today, but it's getting late. It's getting kind of late here, actually. This might just be exhausted now. Anyways, if you watch this to redo it, you could have redone it. This is a pretty, pretty big rally, okay? A pretty big rally to reshort this, but you could have waited, 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 and then after this held itself here, you could have looked to redo this around here into the 2 o'clock reversal time. So this was actually a nice short into the 2 o'clock reversal time here if you wanted to trade it down for another move down. Uh, and it actually had a good entry here on the uh, on the 15 minute. You could have taken it on the five with a 10 cent stop, and then added here in the 15 minute. Look, this is going to keep going. Wonder if this is going to get to 11 dollars here today. There it goes. Time of the day is 3:10. What a nice trade. Let's rally back up here and could not get over 30. Look at this. So anyways, uh, let's go over the play for this morning. I I'm keep dreaming about this, but <laughs> the move really was this morning. Oh, this is still lower. I mean, swing trade target on this is $9. So here, beautiful entry on this here, right away. I mean, this is very aggressive. Very aggressive, but it was a great gap. So you can be aggressive on quality gaps. Drop down in here, had a nod in here, could have lowered the stop over here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ad right in here. You know, with a cushion, you could have given it a 15 cents. Without a cushion, it was like you could have been tight with it with 10 or 12. And I did do the ad. And then it dropped down, and here's where I got out. So this was a number, and when it bounced off the number into the 9.45 reversal time, I took the whole thing, um, everything. So if I had held something into more to try to get to $11, it would have held, suffered through a rally back up here in the 50s. So I had a good exit on this today, but it did drop and bleed a little bit more. And then it never rallied back right to redo it unless you wait on the 15 minutes of this afternoon. I'm sitting here watching this now. I don't think it's going to go to $11 today. I think if it was going to, it would have done it. Uh, it would have done it here by... 2 2.15 ish, 2.15, 2 o'clock, 2.15. But this is definitely lower overall. This is a great gap. So, you know, it's wonderful to have conviction in what you do. And it's hard to trade if you don't. I, I don't know how people trade if they don't know what to do. I, I really don't. Tra the only reason that trading is fun to do 
um, is if you know what to do and you're making money. It's fun to make money. That's the fun part about trading. And the way to make money is to know what to do. And then you just take the trade and you believe in it. And that's pretty much what you do. So this is a beautiful, beautiful gap. If anyone is interested in learning my 26-point rating system and how to trade gaps and find gaps and rate gaps and figure out the support and the resistance and the targets and which gaps are going to work and which ones are amazing, then contact me about the class. The next class is coming up this coming week, August 17th and 18th. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. I'm a, uh, a gap trader through and through, love my shorts, and I've been teaching people how to trade these gaps, and successfully, I might add. So pretty, pretty good. Everything's going very well. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.